Hi everyone, welcome back to Sunday Moments channel. I'm Jolim, I hope you're all doing well. And in this video, I want to talk about a discovery set from the House of Sergov that, well, I happily and gladly received by my friend Ricardo. He actually made me a very nice surprise I was not expecting and he sent me this beautiful bag with a discovery set from Sergio. Uh, so Ricardo, I already talked about Ricardo and his uh, niche perfume uh, store here in Lisbon uh, which is called Embassy Niche Perfumery and I will leave the official website of Embassy in the description box down below and I already know that some of you guys who are watching this channel for a while that you already bought some fragrances uh, from embassy niche perfumery store so i'm very happy to know that ricardo is a very good friend of mine and of course i don't win i don't have anything to win uh by just sharing with you the amazing experience that you can have by visiting the physical store and even the official website. Uh, Ricardo is an amazing person. He uh, has a fantastic customer service and you definitely, if you want to experience um, new fragrances, new niche fragrances, if you are even new to niche perfumery, I mean, Ricardo is the best person to just take you into this wonderful journey. And so, that being said, now Ricardo, he is the official distributor and the exclusive distributor of Sergio here in Portugal. And actually, he already opened, uh, I think it was a month ago, if I'm not mistaken, he just opened the official Sergio boutique in Lisbon, which is very close to the MC Niche Perfumery store. Uh, so, very happy for that, very exciting news. And, uh, well, he sent me this gorgeous discovery set right here this is the discovery set number four um, and seriously beautiful packaging and here you have the fragrances that comes inside of this box and so as you can see i have pico Valladama, more than words and la capital and you have other three discovery sets and you can actually buy these dis discovery sets from the official uh, website of Sergeov. Each discovery set costs 235 euros, so yeah, it's a bit too expensive. Uh, I think they could have done things a bit more affordable uh, because it's a after all a discovery set. It's true that you have three fragrances and each one of them in a 50 ml bottle and with the uh, search of bottle presentation actually but it's still a bit too expensive nonetheless i think it's an experience uh, if you want to try more than just one or two fragrances i think this is a nice option and especially i think this is a nice uh, option to offer to your significant other to your friends to your family i mean you name i think this is a nice gift to give and uh, so again this is the discovery set number four you have other three which actually i don't remember what fragrances uh, they come with but you can actually personalize this with your own taste um, and actually for example I did a test in the official search of website and for example I chose um, 400 which is an exclusive fragrance from search of 400 um, Indochine and uh, Kobe if I'm not mistaken uh, so I uh, I was simulating like a personalized discovery set and actually the final price was 221 euros so a bit more affordable but still quite expensive so you have this option um, but again feel free to visit the search of official website now let's open this beautiful bottle box seriously gorgeous absolutely beautiful i love this uh, presentation actually i love sort of presentation uh some of you might find this a bit tacky but actually i absolutely love it and so uh the first fragrance that i have here is pico vayadama i mean seriously so cute <laughs> this is such a cute looking bottle <laughs> uh well uh if you know sergio if you know that this is really a mini size bottle um, but 
of the official surge of uh, bottles which usually they come in a 50 ml and some of them they already come in the 100 ml but seriously this is so cute <laughs> <laughs> so this is Pico Valladama right here and um, Pico Valladama actually it's a stunning fragrance it's a white floral uh, fragrance full of aldehydes it's powdery floral it has a freshness in here but this is so elegant this is so elegant I mean, you all know that I love Sergeoff, but I have a love or hate relationship with Sergeoff fragrances. Uh, so I have like 11 or 12 fragrances from Sergeoff, but also there are a lot of fragrances from Sergeoff that I really can't stand. Uh, because hate, well, it might be a heavy word, but uh, yeah, I really can't stand some of the Sergeoff fragrances. Um, the latest one was. What's the name with that horrible Apple Accord, which I now don't remember. Uh, it's in the five, fifth collection or Cinque collection. Um, now I don't remember, I don't recall the name. It's in the light green uh, color type of presentation. Amabile, Amabile, it's the name. Oh, very, very bad, very synthetic. This one, Pico Valladama, it's so good man it's i will even spray on my skin and you can also see the spray beautiful now pico Valladama is stunning it's crisp it's it has a clean nature to it because of the aldehydes very floral, more white florals in here. It's clean, it has some light freshness, like a light citrusy, fresh impression in the opening. But the, the aldehydes are definitely the most prominent accord. Now, this is for me a bit too feminine. Uh, this is, for me, in my opinion, this is heavily inspired in a Chanel fragrance, especially Chanel number no. five. I think this is like the modernized version of Chanel number no. five, Pico Valladama. But it's, it's incredible. Nothing here is scratchy, nothing here smells overwhelming or it's just too obnoxious or loud, not at all. Yes, it's intense, it's involving, it's enveloping, but it's, it's so good. Uh, it's pure class, a pure classy floral fragrance. Absolutely stunning. But again, the aldehydes in here are way too strong for me to wear at least, but I really love it because this really smells like a high quality scent. Not the most unique fragrance because I immediately think of Chanel number no. 5, but this is definitely much more modern. And it's full, uh, it's a full fragrance. Um, a full bodied, elegant, floral, aldehydic fragrance. Oh, it's stunning. Again, not for me, I just see the, this most classy, elegant, powerful woman to wear Pico Valladama. Stunning, very long lasting as well. Um, I think it's a great fragrance here. Pico Valladama, not for me, but nonetheless a fantastic floral, aldehydic fragrance. Now, the next fragrance that I will pick is this one. La Capital. Now, La Capital is a fruity fragrance, a very fruity fragrance, um, mm, sweet fruity. Um, one of the most prominent fruity accords in here is strawberry. So I will spray in this hand. So as you can see, the spray as well. Great mist, actually. And yeah, this is definitely 
sweeter, while uh, Pico Valladam it's definitely more classy, but more mature. This one, no, it's it feels more playful, more young, more wild and free. Yeah, this is sweet, fruity, like a bit of caramelized fragrance. Sergio has a lot of fruity fragrances and actually for me Sergio does fruity fragrances like any other brand does. You have Cruz del Sur 2 which for me is the best fruity fragrance that Sergio has. This most delicious realistic milky mango accord. Uh, then you have Erba Pura which is a cocktail of fruits with vanilla. It's a bomb. Uh, it's a fruity bomb really and might be a bit too much too overwhelming and sometimes too scratchy i absolutely love it feels tropical but it can be too much if you over spray la capital is like the more soothing the more elegant version of erba pura a lot of fruits in here also. Actually, I really think of Herba Pura when I'm smelling uh, La Capital, but while Herba Pura, it's like a wild night out. Uh, this one, La Capital, it's more of a romantic setting, like a date night scenario or even a more formal night out event. Yeah, it's vanillic. Uh, the strawberry here actually is quite prominent. Um, I mean, this it's not scratchy, but at the same time, it's not the most natural smelling fragrance that you will experience. If you like fruity fragrances, I think this is a great alternative. Again, strawberry, but caramelized, vanilla. It's sweet, not overly sweet, it's playful, it's fun, but again, it's not too much, it's not scratchy, it will not overwhelm you, at least not for me, and not on my skin. Uh, now, this one is unisex, but it can lean a bit more into the feminine side because of the sweet fruitiness in here, but I think for me this is more unisex, goes more in the unisex category, while Pico Valladama for me goes more into the feminine side, uh, feminine side of things. Yeah, but oh man. but I think Pico Valladama is a superior scent overall. Oh yeah, definitely it's a superior fragrance. La Capital is again fun, playful, has a tropical nuance definitely, but. I mean, for an over 200 euros fragrance to smell just a nice, sweet, fruity scent, I think you can do better. Nonetheless, it's a solid fragrance. I don't hate it, not at all. Um, I think it's great, but it's not something that, yeah, I need to have. But still, it's a great alternative if you are searching for a nice, fruity fragrance. Now, Last one, the third. I absolutely love the color of the third one. And actually, well, surprisingly or not, I already have a full bottle of more than words. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but this is more than words. Um, absolutely love. When every time I see this ambery color, I already know that at least I will like it a lot. Um, and yeah. <laughs> this is outstanding. I absolutely love More Than Words, one of my all-time favorites from Sergeov. I have a 100ml bottle of More Than Words. More Than Words is from the Join the Club collection. And actually, the Join the Club collection is the most affordable uh, collection, the most affordable line of fragrances from Sergeov. Um, I don't recall the price of the 100ml bottles, but the 50ml, they go between the 170 to 190 uh, euros max. So definitely more affordable than the Shooting Stars and the Oud Stars that go from 235 and up. 
so this is a rose oud done so well the rose here it's jammy uh it's sweet not overly sweet then you have lots of saffron you have oud i mean this you have amber this is so involving so enveloping this smells a friend of mine uh well this was pre-covid a friend of mine when i was wearing this one it was in a night out scenario and he said that when i was wearing more than words he literally said you smell like winter amazing um and yes this truly smells like winter this is cozy but still it's rich it's intoxicating so seductive so sexy oh absolutely love this more than words is stunning stunning um if you're searching for a nice rose oud fragrance i think this is a solid alternative of course you also have lots of saffron and amber but the rose here that jammy sweet rose that i absolutely love then with the oud that gives this dark resinous nuance love it I absolutely love more than words uh, it's again one of my all-time favorites and definitely one that you need to check out if you like more heavy oriental fragrances like i do um and of course this is my favorite of the three uh and well luckily i already have a full bottle of more than words so guys i hope you enjoyed this video this was like a quick review oh and by the way the performance of more than words is beastly this is a bomb i mean you will fill a room if you uh overspray even if you don't overspray you will already be noticed by other people surrounding you so i mean it, it's a heavy performer uh so guys once again i hope you enjoyed this uh, quick review of these three great fragrances from surge off i mean again wow, so good really Pico Valladama, it's so good. La Capital also is nice, uh, it smells sweet, still sweet and fruity and playful and vanillic. But I already have a lot of some fragrances that goes in this genre and I really... And for this type of fragrance it's hard for me to justify to pay like over 235 euros for just a 50 ml. I mean, I think you have better options out there but still it's not overly sweet it's not overly synthetic i mean it's well done for what it offers for what it is but i think you can do better i think for example cruz del sur 2 i think it's the best fruity fragrance still and then of course more than words i mean more than words is absolutely stunning uh so again if you love rose wood combinations that i know that the market is already saturated with this type of rose wood uh fragrances but more than words is one that deserves some attention so guys once again i hope you enjoyed this uh video tell me in the comments down below if you like the fragrance house of sergeov uh what is your favorite fragrance from the house of sergeov tell me everything that comes down below guys and see you in the next video take care ciao